whatever happened to, um, you know, uh, your ideas, your thoughts, your beliefs being yours and not wrong. That that's that's that seems a distant past. In the world of Brett Favre, his allies are the following. Mr. President, my question is: the NBA and the NFL are struggling with lower ratings as fans clearly do not want political messaging mixed with their sports. So, how should the leagues support and promote an anti-racism position without becoming political? and alienating fans. Thank you. Former Republican President Donald Trump. Harry Ashcraft. Current governor of Mississippi, Tate Reeves. NFL Hall of Famer Brett Favre is facing questions tonight of whether he knowingly took $5 million of state welfare money to build a new volleyball facility for his daughter's team five years ago at her university and his alma mater. Former governor of Mississippi, Phil Bryant. According to court filings, Favre didn't give up, writing the former governor again about the new volleyball center a few months later, saying we obviously need your help big time and time is working against us. The former governor responded, but we have to follow the law. I am too old for federal prison. Former head of the MCEC, Nancy New, her son, Zach New. According to the court documents, this man, John Davis Agency, shelled out millions of dollars that were supposed to go to poor families in the state. Instead, investigators say Davis used sham contracts to improperly funnel the cash to a series of projects. A state judge today sentenced Davis to more than 30 years in prison. And the head of DHS, John Davis. Throughout all this, Favre has maintained his innocence. There's a certain disrespect in this country that is downright disrespectful. And has picked his targets. Typical white conservative male <laughs> that's stuck in his own little world that don't give a damn about anything that doesn't let impact him. Fox Sports 1's Shannon Sharp. Brett Favre, AJ. Brett Favre. What now? Your oh. former teammate. And Pat McAfee, host of the Pat McAfee Show. Well, Brett shouldn't have stole from the people, Brett. Yeah. yeah. Those comments and more resulted in Brett Favre suing the two, along with the state auditor in Mississippi, in a headline-grabbing lawsuit. Let's be clear. The suit claims McAfee and Sharp each use the media to further false accusations and implications regarding him, alleging, of course, defamation. I've officially been served by Brett Favre. <laughs> Serve me the papers. It's officially official. I have been sued by Brett Favre. Here we go. Oh, hey. Congratulations. And this was McAfee's reaction. I don't understand how, how we were the ones chosen for this particular lawsuit, but I will continue to reiterate. Excited to see how it all goes. McAfee also alleged Favre's lawyers sent him a warning shot to remove every video the show did on the former quarterback. I looked at that, McAfee said. I said, that is hilarious. Of course we're not doing that. They also demanded a public apology. In suing Auditor White, Brett Favre claims he was smeared through a media campaign, quote, to further his, as in Shad White's, own political career. We've seen a ton of welfare money that's intended for the poorest folks here in the state of Mississippi flowing to people who just simply did not need it. Everything Auditor White has said about this case is true and is backed by years of audit work by the professionals at the office of the state auditor. White said in a statement, it's mind boggling that Mr. Favre wants to have a trial about that question. You would think Brett Favre, born and raised in Kill, Mississippi, <laughs> does any place in America have any more racist history than Mississippi? Mm -mm. But Brett Favre is unaware. The lawsuit against Sharp claims that he too defamed Brett Favre by calling him a, quote, Sorry, mofo, to steal from the lowest of low, and that Favre stole money from people that really needed that money with Pat McAfee. I, do, I don't understand, though, how, how any of it will work for them. I, I don't know how, from my understanding. So that's why I haven't really stressed this much. He's cool as a cucumber. Former lawyer Mike Florio, turned football writer for Pro Football Talk, would write of the suit 
that would follow all of this news. Favre would have been well advised to not pull the pin on this specific grenade from giving McAfee and Sharp license to explore whether the things they said about Favre are true, and truth is an absolute defense to any defamation claim, to putting Favre's pre-defamation Crocs-fueled reputation in issue. Favre may regret this one, especially after he's placed under oath during a deposition and aggressively questioned about those and other matters for hours, if not days. In my opinion, and opinions are protected, free speech at all times, Favre had made a huge mistake here. It's not going to help him. And if he isn't careful while testifying, it could hurt him far worse than taking his lumps from McAfee and Sharp and moving on.